And we're going to start things off with Spider-Man. And I know you're probably saying, what on earth is this about? But last night, for some reason, I landed onto the YouTube scene of Peter Parker when Gwen gets killed. And I was sitting in my bed, not feeling too well last night, which is kind of commonplace for me in the winter, but... And I started to sob in my bed. I don't know what it was, but I just, maybe I just needed to have a good cry or something. I'm not sure, but that specific scene I watched and I just completely broke down and I was sobbing and it linked me to like a couple reaction videos. And one of my favorites was there were these group of guys, you know, these really handsome guys sitting there. And then they were watching that scene from the film as well. And they started to break down crying. So I didn't feel, you know, like such a freak when I saw that because if anybody knows anything about comics or superheroes, you know, it's very rare, if ever, I think, that a hero's um, love interest gets killed. I mean, it was was quite groundbreaking for the time. So I watched it for some reason. I have no idea how I ended up on it, but I watched it and I was just, it's very emotional. It's very emotional. So it inspired me to kind of go back and look at the original comic and kind of read it a little bit. And eventually my stomach started to feel a little bit better and I fell asleep. But it was emotional. So here we are. Uh, We're going to take a little stroll with me since we have been having nonstop snow and blizzards. Tap, tap, tap. That makes you feel closer to the viewer. And we're taking a stroll in the woods. Um, Yellow snow. Out of a pond, some yellow snow. Do not eat yellow snow. That's rule number one. And I took my roommate's truck out because I had been having some serious cabin fever because we've just been snowed in. And that's why I've had so much time for YouTubes because you can't go to work. Work is canceled. So I wave a lot during this footage. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, Maybe I felt like a five-year-old, but I wave a lot. I think I'm stuck. Yeah, because I keep getting stuck. I get stuck in the snow a lot. Go figure. It's kind of a metaphor for me, I guess. So uh, these are some places in Hull, uh, where I live right now. More waving. Great. Showing you the snow on my hat. So I'm not on a set. I'm not on a movie set. This is actual, real nature. Everybody must get out and experience it, guys. It's out there. It is out there. Um, trying to uh, talk you through some of this footage. And most of it is completely erratic. I have no idea what I'm doing. I said my hair is falling out because I'm crazy, and now I'm trying to distract you, even though it's me holding the camera. It's incredibly narcissistic to blog. Okay, wait, 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 let me just do this. That little island you see, guys, that my ginormous finger is pointing to, that's Hull. That's where I live. This is the War Barracks, um, and there, again, that's the little island where I live, Hull. When you fly into Hull, it looks like you're about to land in the ocean. It's so beautiful. It really is. And the barracks are covered in graffiti. Um, I find it beautiful. I've shot a lot of videos here just because it's inspiring, you know, and it's it's something new. And I think that's what makes me inspired to do these videos is to get out of the humdrum daily life and hopefully bring some magic to you guys. Or Okay, I thought I heard something in the woods. I'm trying to keep up with this footage because it, it runs pretty quick. A lot of people had told me that there were a lot of murders in this forest. (laughs) It's a great place for dead bodies, so I don't let fear control me. Usually when somebody tells me I shouldn't do something, I do it. Um, But it's just, you know, I get to be a kid again, and I think that's one of the great things about being creative is you, you try to recreate those feelings of excitement and curiosity and, you know, magic and innocence that we feel when we're kids, that we lose when we're adults. And for some reason, white snow everywhere made me want to express that. Um... I have no idea what that was about uh, with the hanging noose gesture I just did. Not appropriate. Not, yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to communicate there. And I'm stuck. I am stuck. The snow is so deep, especially by us, because they need somewhere to put it. And because the winds have been so high, it's become, you know, we have these eight, nine foot tall. And I just said, fuck me, because I got stuck again. And I want to make a snow angel. I've been saying I've been wanting to make a snow angel all winter and I have yet to do it because either I'll fall and I'll get too cold or I've been sick or I've been, you know, I I am, yeah, it's just, I I haven't had the chance to do it yet. So I'm, I'm missing out, but I, I will do my snow angel before the season ends. I have to. That's inappropriate. <laughs> but that's, that's kind of my sense of humor. It's kind of disturbing. 
Again, I'm alluding to the snow angels. Snow, snow inspires me. This is for all my fans or my viewers that need captions. Read my lips. Did you see what I said? Reverse it. And leave it in the comments below if you could see what I said. Um, it's just beautiful. And uh, here I am eating some snow. It's very delicious. I still do it. I know it's gross. I make sure it's not yellow. When I was a little kid, me and um, my friends, Stephen and Gregory, we used to bring our juice boxes outside to the snow, and we would squeeze them and make like our own little snow cones. It was fun. And then I'd probably try to be bad and get some yellow snow and just, oh, here, it's lemon. It's good. Try it. Uh, these are the islands, the different islands that you can take the boats out to from Hull or if you're going to go towards Boston, which is to the left of me. I, I, it does not take much for me. And vlogging is a very narcissistic thing, but it's, it's, I'm not a famous YouTuber. I'm not, I don't make money. I'm not a celebrity YouTuber. I'm just a weirdo that likes to put things together and hopefully inspire people and give them a break out of their daily life and struggles. And it's for me too. It's, it's like therapy. So here I am, um, trying to decide which way to go. At some point I do hear a really scary noise. Oh, there's some duty. So you know that dogs have been in here. I think this is where I'm at the, the whole gut, which is a place I go to a lot. Got to fix the hair because that's super important. And the whole gut is, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. You can drive your car out in the summer until the boats come by. Again, with the noose, I, I don't know what on earth was going on in my head, but then again, neither do I. Or that's maybe a double negative. Um, Still back in, okay, I did just hear something just now. I thought there was a murderer in the woods and he was after me because to be out there at that moment when I was out there shooting, you would have to be either living close in the town. And I ran. And this is me out of breath because I just ran. I heard some, some, some noise in the woods and I'm voguing. And this is me running. This is me actually running away. This is not planned or anything. It just freaked me the fuck out. And I'm waving again. Thanks for watching, guys. This is just the town of Hull, and uh, that's it. Short, not really much going on, but I hope it made you smile or made you laugh. I really enjoy doing these narration videos, guys. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Just buy me. I want your body. What I feel you.